Hi everyone. Well, a thousand subscribers and I just want to say thank you. I never realised that's fantastic. I'm really chuffed and very touched. I uh, hope you're still continuing to enjoy the content and I'll try and put more up as I get the chance. More importantly, I hope you're coping okay and I hope the current crisis hasn't uh, impacted too much on your lives. I know that many people have lost loved ones and I know that the lockdown is very, very tough on people and on families and uh, I hope you're doing okay. On a more pleasant note, we had the supermoon on the 7th of April and I went outside and tried to capture it and I even managed to feature for a few seconds on the local news. So. Let's go back to the 7th of April and see me trying to capture the supermoon, despite the clouds coming in. As always, take care. I started the evening by trying to capture a time lapse of the moon rising, and I had my camera set up with a small telescope and had to keep just going back checking it was still recording and I caught 240 frames of the supermoon rising over the houses at the back of my house. The way I like to record my time lapses is to focus on the moon and then put the camera in the correct manual settings for a dark sky with the moon up high. Once you've got all your manual settings of your exposure and everything set up then go back and start your time lapse once the moon appears not overexposed on your camera. So you just have to wait until the twilight is just dark enough that you can start your time lapse and then start all your images. Once you've got all your images, you can then edit them in Photoshop and I crop mine into a 16x9 format so that I can then create my time lapse and I just use Virtual Dub which is a useful piece of free software. Over the course of the night I had to move my telescope a couple of times so I could keep the moon in view and thankfully with an alt azimuth mount it's not too difficult to move the telescope and reset up and repoint straight back at the moon again. Okay, so what I've got is my little refractor set up on the old azimuth mount and I'm imaging the super moon. It's 10 past 3 in the morning and I'm just using a Fujifilm X-T30 and I'm taking an exposure every 3 seconds. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm taking a hundred frames at a time and I don't want to cook the sensor while I'm doing it. So, let's see how it goes. 